What's going on guys, I'm that magic here. I'm playing some free for all on studio, like last game. In this game, I don't even fucking win. I don't even win this game because I, you know, I'm dominating everyone. And all of a sudden this guy gets a warhog out of nowhere. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, we probably got in a care package. And he pulls out a load star. Now he's like 18 kills. And I'm thinking, well, wait, what? Like, I haven't even seen this guy yet. And all of a sudden he has like a load star. And then he gets like a warship or whatever that other kill streak's called, the chopper gunner thing. And he eventually wins. So then I'm like, well, what the hell? Did I really just get beasted on right there? Like, did this guy literally win the game going 30 and 2 while I'm doing really well without even killing me? And so I go back and I watch the game in theater. Dude's sitting in the very back of the map. And these people just keep running right back to him. These same two people, not even shooting him, they just keep running right back to him. And I look at their scores. They're like 1 in 10 and 1 in 16. I'm thinking, yeah, these either these two are the shittiest COD players in the history of David Vonderhaar. Or they're just boosting, basically. Um, so, anyways, this is a good gameplay. I didn't win, but I thought it was kind of entertaining. So, whatever. You'll, you'll love it. How about that? I'll stick on a little hijack clip I got last night, or two nights ago. Uh, just, to, just to tide you over. Um, because I know on this, on this 420 day, you guys probably all have short attention spans and everything. So, whatever. But yeah, so a few videos ago, I talked about my worst high school experience, and then like 10 minutes after uploading that video, I thought of another experience, and so I was just like, fuck, I should have done this one first, but whatever. This one actually happened in middle school, and it's probably like one of my worst experiences in school, like of all time. Basically what happened, I was in history class, um, and the way the class is set up, you know, there's rows of desks, and so my friend sits in the very front, and then there's this pretty cute girl actually, and then me. So, my friend was actually supposed to ask out uh, this girl that day. So, I'm passing him and I write a note, a little, a little note card. And I'm just like, hey, did you ask her out? Because I didn't know yet. So, I pass him the note and he passes it back. He says no. And so, we're just kind of passing this note back and forth. You know, history class, it wasn't that interesting. The teacher wasn't that great. Um, she was actually, she wasn't a great history teacher, but she was nice. But at the same time, I think that she was starting to get like a little annoyed with us. Because we, we just never paid attention to her class. Um, and you know, my friend was one of those smart Asians that just is great at everything. Um, like he was, he's honestly like great at everything. Like when we were skating, like we'd both learn a tray flip at the same time, but his would be like 10 times higher and he could do it off a five stair. And I'm looking at him like, what the hell? You know, we play basketball together and he can, he dunks. I'm just like, okay, dude, that's great. So <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, so he was like one of those dudes who literally could get straight A's, didn't even have to try. So she didn't like him. She liked me a little more, but she really didn't like him for the fact that he didn't ever try and he still got good grades. But she was a nice enough teacher. So anyways, we're passing this note back and forth. And, you know, being in 7th grade, I don't know how many of you guys have been in 7th grade. I don't know if you guys, like, maybe you skipped over that year or something. But <laughs> when you're in middle school, your mind is really, uh, it's still developing. So it's still pretty immature and you think of some pretty inappropriate things, to say the least. And that's kind of where this note went. We started talking about, like, I, it started with me asking him if he asked to grow up. And eventually it escalated to, like, I think at one point he literally wrote, hey, we should have a four-way between our girlfriends. Because I had a girlfriend at the time. And, you know, I, I laughed at that. I thought that was fucking hilarious. And looking back on it now, I'm just like, wow, we were the, easily the stupidest people. This guy gets straight A's in every class, but he's, like, the dumbest person ever. So, you know, we're passing this note back and forth. I actually ended up drawing a picture of Barney with boobs because... I thought that was, like, that's actually pretty funny. Like, picture Barney and just picture boobs on it. So, I don't know. I thought that was hilarious. But eventually, we're passing this note back and forth. We're making this, like, this poor girl in the middle of us, like, pass the note between us. And eventually, she, like, she sees, I think she sees the boobed out Barney. And she, like, starts laughing at it. But she's holding it. And so, the teacher, like, does, like, this ninja sprint over to her. Snatches the note from her. And at this point, I'm just like, alright, yeah, let's, let, let me just go kill myself. So she reads the note, she's like petrified by it, like she's scarred for life and she's like 60, so that's saying something. Um, and so she sends it to the office, she sends us to the office obviously, and the principal's looking at it, he's shaking his head, he's kind of like this nerdy principal, alright, he wasn't even, he was like the dean of discipline or something, I don't know, some stupid title that they give to no one. Um, and he's like this nerdy guy, and so he's reading the note, and like, a part, I, like, at one part I remember him reading, he's like, what do you mean by let's go for anyways? And me and my friend just start busting out laughing because he read it wrong, and at this point he gets really pissed off at us, he calls our parents, my dad probably wasn't that happy with it, um, he actually ended up asking for a copy of the note, and 
I did not see the light of day for like a week. Um, and then I finally got to, you know, open my windows and actually see the light of day for another like year after I was done being grounded for all the stupid shit I wrote. But anyways, that was probably my worst middle school experience. Yeah, not, not the best. Let me know what yours is in the comments uh, and leave a rating on the video because it's awesome when people do that because I love you all a lot or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.